Hey everyone, it's Anna here at Deeds with probably my very favorite tutorial for this Easter season. We teased it for you a couple days ago and you guys were super excited and it is the black and white check bunny door hanger and I have him right here. You can see he's pretty big. He's going to fill up a door really nicely and I showed you him the other day with his decor kind of tied around his neck and this is one way you can do it. This is all going to be in the kit on shopdeeslouisville.com. You can also click on the link right above in the caption and grab this kit for yourself today in the video I'm gonna make it the exact same way except I'm gonna tie this onto the bottom so a lot of people like it here on the neck I really like it there but if you want to see more of the bunny and make it even longer for your door we're gonna do the decor down here and then at the end I'll kind of show you how if you like it up here you can do it up here too but it's super cute you guys go to shopdeeslouisville.com grab yourself a kit this one for sure is gonna sell out so what you're going to do first, I've got the hanger, the plain one hanging up here on the board. All I used was one large mixed wildflower stem. And the reason I love this one, you'll see I use this in quite a few different kits, is because it has a mixture of everything. And I like this bunny to have bright colors for Easter. It's got yellow, purple, coral, pink, all, you, all those colors in one stem. It also has lots of nice greenery too. So the first thing we're going to do before anything else is we're going to chop this stem off. And where you see it starts to get narrower, that's where you're going to chop it. Then you're going to separate the stem into two, like two kind of hunks. So if I hold it down here, it's all going that way. What I want to do is just take a few minutes and pull some stems towards the cut part. So the reason we're doing that, I'll kind of show you, is you want to kind of put it at an angle and you want to have some of that going down too. Let me pull this towards the edge so you can really see. So you want to have some of that decor kind of going down too. So it's not too heavy shooting off of one side. So I'm going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to pull some of this down. I'm going to pull some kind of up. Just really open up this stem. It's all wired like it usually is. So it works perfectly for adding to something like this. So I've got that and you can see I've separated it really nicely. I might even do a little bit more and I'm going to tie it right on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my piece of cloth covered wire. I'm going to go behind the grapevine. I'm going to set this aside so you can see. I'm just going to go behind this grapevine, kind of through it, and come out the bottom. And that's how I'm going to tie everything on, including my ribbon. So you can see I just wove it through right there where I want it. And now I'm going to just tie everything onto this. So I'm going to start with this stem. I'm going to put it right where I want it. I'm going to go with some of that going down, some of it going up. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot. The reason I like doing it this way too, is if you ever want to move it, you can. You're just going to cut the wire and redo it somewhere else. Okay, so I've gone on and tied that on. Okay, I'm going to move this up so you guys can see a little bit better just for right now. I'm just going to hang it up here just so I can get everything on there. Okay, so I'm going to curve this stem a little bit. I'm going to tuck the end of that just down into the grapevine there. And then you can see I've got everything kind of where I want it. So we, with everything being wired, you can always move it around, but that looks good for right now. Now we're ready to add the bow. And you guys, the ribbon is so cute on this one. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna hang them back up. So for the ribbon, I chose four different ones because why not use four? First up, we're gonna do a black and white stripe. It's really pretty, it's a little bit wider. I wanted to tie in some more of the black that's in the black and white check. So I'm just gonna do a piece of this just to hang down. I didn't wanna overwhelm it and make the bow too big, so I only used about a half a yard of this one, and then that way it can kinda of hang down. It just adds a touch of black. And then next up, I chose this adorable dot. It's a one and a half inch, but it has all the colors on the stem. So pretty. And I did a couple loops of this one. So go on and just make a couple loops. All right, there's that. Next up, another one I love. It's the black ribbon, one and a half inch. And it's got that little white kind of drift edge. Love that. So cute. It kind of reminded me of a bunny. Just fluffy and cute. So I'm going to make a couple loops of that one. It's going to be a nice size bow, perfect for this door hanger. And then the last ribbon I chose was pink, green, and yellow stripe. I just thought it was pretty. It tied in all the colors in the stem and in the polka dot ribbon. 
I'm not going to loop this one. I'm just going to lay it in the middle and leave it like a little piece just to add a nice bit of bright color. Now you can go ahead and take another wire if you want. So say you do want to use it or you might want to try it up here. You might want to just tie your bow off. You can even use a little piece of the wire that you have tying there because that wire is so long. I'm just going to go ahead and tie it off and then that way I don't have a bow coming apart if I do decide to move it. So go ahead and just tie your bow off. You can even cut those wires out of the way. And now you're ready to just lay it right where those wires are and tie it with those. So cute. Okay, so I've tied it right on there and now you know what's next. We're gonna cut those tails. This is such an easy project. It's so big and showy for your door. It reminds me of the black and white check pumpkins that we had for the fall that sold out in like an hour. So definitely do not wait if you like this guy. We did order more of him, so there's quite a bit, but you really don't wanna miss out because the company is sold out. So what we have is all we can get. We will not restock this one once it's gone. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna cut all those little tails. I know I'm missing one back here, there we go. And I got one more right there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a few minutes, I'm gonna stand kind of right in front of it and I'm gonna adjust some stuff. I'm gonna pull these stems kind of up. You know how I like to bring a flower to the middle of the bow just to make it look like you didn't stick a bow on there. How adorable is that, you guys? It is so cute, so perfect for Easter. I'm gonna kind of hold it up so you can really see it. Really fun and cute for Easter time. I'm gonna take that bow off right now though and show you. You're just gonna, if you liked it on the neck a little bit more, all you're gonna do is make it the exact same way, but you're gonna just attach it with everything kind of going the opposite. So when you go to make that, the longer pieces are all coming towards the bottom which is you want to, what you want to do. And it's made the exact same way. So if you liked it on the neck like that too, just go ahead and just attach it right here the exact same way. Super cute. You guys head to shopdeeslouisville.com. You do not want to miss out on the black and white check bunny door hanger.